Right guys, got this beautiful laptop in today. It's an Asus VivoBook X1500E. Now, what the customer has told me, uh, we'll call him, well his name is Steve. Uh, what Steve has told me is that, that uh, the device doesn't charge properly. So, a little clip there, doesn't look good, we'll do that later on. Um, Let's, let's plug, plug it in. Now this, this one, really strange, because you plug it in this side, and then you've got the indicator lights on that side. As you can see, they are working absolutely fine. Um, which is a bit strange. But when you actually bought it in, it was very intermittent of how it was. There you go. And look, if I'm, I'm moving the charger, and it goes off. But at the moment it's on. But I'm, I'm not actually happy with the way it's... I've tested the charger out. The charger seems fine. There's no... Ah, as you can see, it's gone off again. So, I unplug it, put it back in again. It comes on. The minute I put it down to rest, it goes off. So... I think the best thing to do right now is I see I take the back off. So to do that with the screwdriver, just remove the screws that you can see. And I'd recommend putting it into a tray so you don't lose them. Now make be aware of the size now if you look at this one that i've taken out from here it's a lot shorter so what you could actually do is make a template on a piece of paper draw out the back of the laptop put some holes where the screws are put a, a tweeter through put the screw through the, through, it, through the hole and that way you know where uh, they go back in uh, or if you've got good memory just remember the big ones go at the top I don't know what size that one is. Yeah, that's a long one. So I, we've got three uh, long ones. Yeah, four actually. So that's a long one. The bottom ones are short. But see, the beauty is, you've got a video, haven't you? This video, if you, if you don't want to do anything, just look at the video. Simple as that. You know, that's what I would do. Take pictures as you go along. And that's it. Now we, we may have to replace the actual socket that's in the in the laptop, but it may be the case that it might be just because I know it was dropped. Now it's possible that it's just a cracked a solder joint. If that's the case, that will make our job dead easy. So we've got the uh, we've got the uh, device opened now. The the the, uh, the parts exposed. So the sockets there. Uh, the lights are on this side. So see the thing is when you plug it in with the back off, you can see the lights coming through just there. So let's let's plug it in again. Okay, and as you can see, the lights are on. Now, I'm moving moving it around. It literally is doing. Nothing. I think it's fine. So why is it going off? So we need to determine. I don't want to move it around too much because it could actually damage the socket. So I can hold the socket down. Just move this bit here. All right. So see when I turn it over. Okay, the machine's running now, as you can see. Okay, and it. If you look at the, the the icon there, it does say it's not charging. Pull out the charger and it goes off. So it's not a charging issue. Let's have a look around, shall we? Right, now they did say it was dropped. So, right, what I should have checked, just seeing what the problem is, what I should have checked straight away. It's very rare that this happens, but 
if you look at the the battery connection just there I don't know if you can see that this is hanging up sticking up look so the, the gate is open now you can see it's moving look now it's going to unplug the charging connector make sure that the connector is okay it's not broken so the fault was a loose battery connector how brilliant is that so it's basically costing them not much at all just a bit of you know i don't know nominal charge really but um yeah i mean let's let's power it up and hey presto the laptop is now running as you can see the battery lights come on we're at the and look there you go so job done how long did that take us so from a, could have been a very potentially complicated uh, fault uh, has turned out to be a very simple fault so we're actually good to go thank you for watching